Hi guys and ghouls. So today I am drowning in pumpkins and cats and to be honest there is nowhere I would rather be. So today I have another home sense haul. Who figured? Um, basically I have a couple of things to show you which I bought about a week ago now and then a few more things to show you which I bought a couple of days ago. So the first thing is kind of the last thing. The first thing is the last thing that I bought a couple of like a week or so ago if that makes sense so this is the last thing but then yeah let's get into it so i went into home sense specifically looking for this guy who i did actually um haul in my previous video and i saw him i freaked out i put it in my basket and then i was like right chill out see what else they have to offer and something which i hadn't seen on any of the facebook pages was this and i needed it because he is, or they are, black cats with green eyes. And they're not just cats. They are tiny baby kittens. But, and you guys know, I love collecting things, especially sets of things, like things that match, whether it be jewelry or house ornaments. I just love things that match. And last year, I bought this little guy. And you may see that there is a kind of crazy resemblance between these i feel like they were definitely born from the same mother um the the sizing is slightly different but definitely you can tell these are made by the same designer um and i think that they must be part of a set like they look like they're part of a set um they're the same kind of height this pumpkin is a lot smaller but it only has one cat in it whereas this one has two kittens so yeah I found this and I was really excited. Um, so definitely one of those pieces, I'm not sure how much I needed it because like I already had one, but you know, like this one has two kittens in and definitely this was one of those, this was a must have of last year. And when I found it, I was so excited. I actually found it in a Worthing TK Max. Um, I literally saw it and nearly fell over. I was so excited. Um, and I'd taken the price off, but this one was 4 99 and I feel like this was a very similar price. No, I haven't actually seen this one like around this year usually they do things in threes so potentially like this one didn't sell as much as it like could have done last year um whereas like maybe they just kind of bought this one out because they thought like <laughs> would try round two kind of thing um but anyway i was super super excited because i loved this piece last year it definitely was one of those pieces that i was after and it wasn't until i got it i realized how much i loved it um and this i feel like is just one of those pieces again very simple very light-hearted just like a core cool halloween piece i feel and just it's just so cute so they're both kind of made of the same material i think i'm just going to refer to this one now um but they are as you can see very similar in all aspects so it is like a resin material it's definitely like a quite a light resin um i feel like it's like relatively sturdy i think like if you bubble wrapped this um sufficiently you would be able to put this in the post absolutely fine um, the reason i say that is because on my halloween group so for example i have my um group the haunted ghoul group which if you guys are interested in joining just send a little like joining Thing and i'll accept you but basically like some people in the groups will say like i'm searching for this item and someone else will find it and buy it and like obviously get reimbursed for it and i feel like this is an item that would survive the post i feel like it is quite sort of compact and sturdy so yes it is a jack-o-lantern as you can see definitely a really interesting face of jack-o-lantern usually we kind of have the triangle eyes what does this one have oh yeah this one does have triangle eyes too um so like usually we have like i'd say this is more of a traditional face but perhaps maybe because this is a slightly kind of wider pumpkin they've thought we'll go for this one instead um it is completely 3d and i love the fact they've added the lid of the pumpkin that's just one thing which i really like about like halloween ornaments is when they have a pumpkin lid you may be able to see i've been kind of on a a bit of like a pumpkin lid frenzy recently um but yeah i absolutely love this and then you have the two little cats poking out now again much like some of the other cats we've seen this year already very very detailed they've got loads of detail in their fluff i love how floofy their little ears and cheeks are um it does kind of have like remnants of the kind of angry cats that they came out with last year that a few people have spotted this year especially with this over exaggerated almost like cartoony cheek but this is definitely a more friendly version and as you can see 
gorgeous green eyes. I like how they've kind of got the personalities in there as well. This one's very upfront and confident, whereas this one's a bit more shy and he's just kind of looking out. He's like, hey, have you got any candy for me? Actually, I guess it would be like, have you got any dreamies? Oh, they're so cute. I wish that they were alive. Anyway, so <laughs> this is the little kind of scene. It is absolutely adorable. The only thing which I'm not the biggest fan of is if you turn it this side, there's this big like orange part there. I mean, I'm not really sure how often you display it sideways, um, but from the front, it's absolutely adorable. And I'm not sure how else they would have like made the lid sturdy, but that is the only bit I'm not too keen about. But honestly, like I did think about painting it black, but I'm not sure how well that would work. So yeah, absolutely adorable. I love the colour tones. I'm not sure how well they're sharp on camera, but it's a deeper orange kind of in the creases and then it fades out to a lighter orange on the side, which does give it a very oddly like realistic look. Um, and then it does also have a little switch. Now there was a bit of plastic in there, but I pulled it out straight away. So if I switch this switch, you can see it turns into a very kind of lovely warm orangey colour. There's definitely a big difference I feel between the piece when it's like off because it's very dark and when you turn it on I feel like it makes the face look happier for some reason um, but yeah it definitely kind of warms it up. I can't remember what colour was in the other one. Oh yeah so I, I did think this when I bought it. The other one has like a disco light going on whereas this one just has a more kind of realistic fr like flame I guess is what I would call it. I prefer it with the orange than the disco um, but as always I don't often really turn the lights on on these things anyway. I usually just leave it for kind of Halloween night and then I turn them all on and just have like a mira a miragini what's it called a miragini a miragini I think it's menagerie menagerie I'm gonna go with that a menagerie of like lit up like spectacular Halloween ornaments. But yeah, I absolutely love this. And for 4 dollars definitely a steal. So that was the last thing that I got from HomeSense like a week or so ago when I went. And then I went a couple of days ago and got some more things. So I think I'll show you this thing next <laughs> as I like look over my pile of things. Um, because this, as you can see, is bubble wrapped. Um, and it is also capped themed. Now I found with like, TK Maxx and HomeSense you have to ask for like bubble wrap it's something that people like complained a lot about a couple of years ago because they'd kind of buy loads of spectacular goods put it in their like famous green bag or they'd bring a bag if they were better and more organized than I was but they put it in a bag get home and they'd all be like chipped and broken up and things so um yeah definitely make sure you ask for bubble wrap or like some kind of paper packaging i think they're pretty much like entitled to give it to you if you ask for it so yes everything i mean hopefully has come back okay but i have like i feel more confident when it's bubble wrapped i don't worry as much about them like clinking in the car so next up i got this cute little guy um he was 3.99 so definitely a cheaper like a cheaper item i think both of these items are really good if you are kind of working on a budget but you want some cute little halloweeny things um this is a candle holder it's for a um you know like the candles you put in candelabras hang on why is literally everything reachable from my bed like these kind of candles um so oh it fits quite cute in there as well um but it is a little bit wobbly, wobbly so maybe i'd need a slightly bigger one or just to like melt a bit of wax into the bottom just to hold it up but it is a candle holder i guess it would be super cute if you had like two of these either side of like a fireplace or like a shelf or something but i did just buy the one because i probably won't be using it as a candle holder i may actually make a little hat for him or something but anyway i bought him because he gives me like super vintage vintage vibes I think it's just the face it's just it's just the face hang on literal again within reaching vibes um the reaching vibes reaching capacity um I kind of collect all these like Joanna Parker like vintage Halloween inspired things um and I think it's like this smile just like reminded me of like this kind of an item um but yeah they are so cute together. I have seen a couple of people repaint these and alter them slightly. I'm a little bit undecided because the people who repainted them usually had a bit of a rubbish paint job to begin with, whereas I feel like mine is quite neat. I think potentially if I was going to change anything, I would maybe up the orange on the nose and ears and potentially make his tie 
more of an orange I'm not sure how well it's showing on camera but it is quite like a tomatoey red but other than that I actually really like it how it is and I like the stripes and stuff on the bottom it kind of gives me a Tim Burton feel as well it's like a mixture between like Tim Burton and Joanna Parker um but yeah absolutely I just love this piece it's so gorgeous again it's a resin it feels nice and sturdy and compact I wouldn't worry too much if I like if I dropped this um it just feels like very well made and not something that we've got i've definitely noticed this year a lot more vintagey things coming in which i'm loving i did have a chat with the lady who like sources the items for home sense and tk maxx around halloween i did mention the fact that it seems like quite a few people are kind of into the vintagey style so perhaps she listened or perhaps it's just coincidence but yes um definitely does give me vintage vibes so just to give you a slightly kind of closer up look this is how he looks so as i said i would potentially kind of paint the inside of the ears but they're not too badly painted i think the eyes are quite clean but this nose does maybe need a bit of clearing up um and then his teeth maybe paint sort of like this bit orange around like where his lips are um, and then we have his tie and his little striped body and then this is where the candle would go at the top the bottom is just plain so yeah i really liked him he was definitely like on my want list i don't think he's a piece that i would have cried if i didn't get because i kind of like the bigger more elaborate pieces but an like another good smiling cat we did get one very similar last year in fact oh it's not within reaching distance i had to stand up to get it um we did get a candle holder last year um sorry it does have like another bat in it um this one which i did end up repainting i can't remember what i did to it. i think i just gave it like a little bit of a touch up um but this was 3.99 still left the price on we did get this candle holder which is for like a tea light candle um which i think has very similar vibes it's almost like they were transitioning into the more vintage trend so yeah i'm really pleased with this guy i think there may be a pumpkin version of this as well but don't quote me on it but i think there's a very similar one to this so potentially i may look out for him so i have like a different one either side of a shelf but yeah i really really like him uh, so i think what i'm going to finish off with today is something i'm not going to go too far in detail with just yet because i'm planning to kind of have a whole video surrounding this particular piece as you can see it's a nice big piece um, and it's something which was slightly more expensive than the usual $12.99. So let me just take the bubble wrap off. You may, you may see a cat. I think this is just going to be my cat themed video, as is most of my videos. Um, but this is a gorgeous moon kind of cat piece. Again, I don't feel like this is specifically Halloween. Like, there's no, like, pumpkins in it. But, um a fabulous kind of all year round just gorgeous almost like witchy piece so i got this i had seen a few people they ask oh, no, me you know, that my that you're fine everything you're not really fine I'm gonna, just yeah, get into it back okay. never understand. I'm gonna have to be so careful with that so i got this um I got this because I saw that one of my friends, Will, he owns the shop October 31st, had also got this and he had modified his and it looked absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm so sad that this has broken. Um, but basically, uh, he painted the moon orange and then the hat of the black cat orange. I'll probably paint the cat's eyes green um and then i think he painted this base bit black so i thought perhaps obviously with his permission i may kind of steal that idea because it ended up looking so beautiful and so vintage and make a whole video um personalizing this this was 16.99 so definitely like definitely a bit more expensive i was very very skeptical about buying this i think i like put it in and out of my cart like seven times because i really wanted it but it just if it had been 12.99 it would have been a no-brainer i'm not sure why that like few extra pounds makes a difference to me um but yeah i do really like this piece i'm a little bit bummed that it's broken though um i'll show you where it's broken as you can see around like the base of the moon i saw this like hole and then actually the crack goes all the way around to there so basically it's held on by that piece so i'm just gonna have to be super super gentle but i'm just gonna have to be super gentle with this especially when painting perhaps i can put a bit of glue on there i have had a few things break from tk maxx and home sense um mainly through my own clumsy fault i cannot honestly tell you if this was broken when i bought it 
or if it broke during the process of me bringing it home um but it's such a shame i mean it, it's not like fallen off yet so like hopefully if i can paint this and just get it like nice and then just put it on my windowsill and don't touch it it will be okay but definitely a piece i'm gonna have to be super gentle with but yeah i absolutely love this it's so gorgeous so yeah i definitely will be showing you a bit more of her her it them i guess the moon would be a man i feel like the moon is a man but i guess i'll show you this in a bit more detail like once i'm painting it but an absolutely awesome piece just be careful when you buy yours to check check for breakages oh, i'm really sad about that i'm not sure where to put this to kind of keep it the safest maybe there i hope it's okay <sighs> okay so that is where is my fan oh this is a heat wave that i am so not consenting so there is my i think that's been my fourth home sense video of this halloween season of course there's still loads to come i still have loads to show you as always i'll leave all information that you need down below i always link to tk maxx down below just because they do have some of these pieces online i will also leave a link to october 31st since that is will shop will is the man who um painted the moon before um so yes i'll leave that all down below thank you very much for watching i hope you have a spooktacular halloween if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy your shade and i will see you next time bye